in this video we are looking at light, infrared, microwaves and radio waves. If you remember, the electromagnetic spectrum consists of radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. But this time we are only looking at the first four. Let's now take a closer look at visible light. Light from the sun and ordinary desktop lamps is called white light. It contains all of the colours of the visible spectrum. You can learn the order of the colours of the visible spectrum with the mnemonic R-O-Y-G-B-I-V or Richard of York gave battle in vain. This means red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Uses of the visible part of the spectrum include vision and cameras both digital and the old-fashioned film style. So now let's look at infrared radiation. All objects emit infrared radiation. And the hotter the object, the more infrared radiation it emits. This infrared heater, for example, will emit a lot of infrared radiation. Infrared transmits heat and is absorbed by your skin there is a risk of burns if exposed to too much of it. Its uses include optical fibres because it is absorbed less by the fibre than visible light, remote controls for your TV, infrared scanners or thermometers, infrared cameras by the police and fire brigade, infrared heaters and infrared cookers. And now for microwaves. Microwaves are used to communicate with satellites as microwaves can pass through the atmosphere, whereas radio waves are absorbed by the atmosphere. They are used to carry mobile phone signals, and they are also used to cook food. This is because the microwaves are absorbed by the water in the food, which causes it to heat up. Finally, let's look at radio waves. These have the longest wavelength of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Their uses include carrying radio signals, TV signals, mobile phone signals, as well as Bluetooth around the home. Radio waves and microwaves can penetrate your body and heat internal organs, so can therefore be hazardous. Okay, it's quiz time. Test yourself. Let's see how much you can remember. Give two uses of visible light. What objects emit infrared radiation? What objects emit the most infrared radiation? Can you give seven uses of infrared radiation? Which part of the electromagnetic spectrum can easily pass through the atmosphere and is therefore used to communicate with satellites? Which part of the electromagnetic spectrum is used by mobile phones? Which part of the electromagnetic spectrum is used by Bluetooth devices? What is a risk associated with high levels of radio waves and microwaves? 